Hi everyone and welcome to the Better Everyday YouTube channel. My name is Randy. So today we are checking out another video from Megadeth. Excuse me, let me make it pop up here. The song is called Peace Cells and this is a live performance. I think I'm excited. I've enjoyed what I've seen from Megadeth so far. So without further ado, here we go. The song is about God, about the system of things, about getting to work on time, about paying your bills, about having feelings, about being kind, about not being kind, about being the Chancellor of Germany. Do you know what I'm talking about, Essen? But for those of you that don't, we'll give you another clue with the bass guitar. David Ellison! This is a fun way to start a song. I know I'm interrupting. I'm so, so sorry. I'll back it up a little bit. This is a fun way to start a song. Getting everyone amped up and ready, pumped up, and then giving some context to the song itself. What a fun way to start a song. And I'm right. <laughs> what do you mean I hurt your feelings? I didn't know you had any feelings. I love the kind of like attitude that this song has. I love the guitar especially, but the song just has such a like just a I don't know, fight the power rebellion kind of attitude for lack of better words. I, I love it. <laughs> Get out of my room and close the door. Okay, get out of my room and close the door. I'm, I'm, I'm doing something, Charlie. I'm so sorry. I like the contrast of that guitar that just came in right there. Well, it's not over. I like that it's dropped out a couple of times, so I feel like that's what is happening now. Like, this is a, you know, like when you go over a hill in a car and you're kind of just floating for a moment. Floating is not the right word. Suspended. Suspended in air for a moment. That's what this seems like. Me wrong. Can you put a price on peace? 
answer you ask. Sells, but who's buying? I love his voice. This is made for this. <laughs> Good night. I may I maybe should have paused. I may regret it. Hopefully that doesn't get blocked for me not pausing for so long. Um Oh my goodness, my brain totally just wiped. The singer's voice is perfect for that 80s kind of grungy, gritty, rebellious I don't know, testosterone-filled rock. It has such a cool, distinct kind of style. Just a lot of the rock music from that era. There's just something awesome and special, so unique about it. And his voice is perfect for that. Also, if you haven't seen, I think I mentioned it in one other Megadeth reaction, I realized that years ago I saw Megadeth live um they weren't i didn't like watch them actively i'd gone to a uh, rock star mayhem festival to see godsmack and disturbed and megadeth was one of the bands that was there so i don't know how much of their stuff i watched i wasn't really listening i was waiting for godsmack and disturbed um anyway but i wish i could go back in time now that i've listened to some of their music on the channel i would love to go actually actively watch a show from them because that they obviously get the crowd going like I love a show like that where you're pulled in and it's just so much more lively and active like even if you're in the crowd you're a part of it and it's beautiful and it just I don't know I I love music I love concerts I have tickets to go see Falling in Reverse later this year, which has nothing to do with Megadeth, but I'm really excited about that. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you very much for the recommendation. Sorry for the child interruption. Um, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.